hello guys welcome to my channel my name is Kirgu Sanam and today we're gonna be doing the second part of our flutter chat complete application so in here in this video we what we're gonna do is we're gonna handle the registration and displaying all the registered user in our contact screen in previous video what we have done is we have set up our application with firebase and we have done some authentication to our application and if you haven't seen that please do check them out before watching this video the link will be down in the description in, and it will also pop up somewhere up there this is the current state of application there will be login with google button if you click that it will open the login ui of the application it will take you to the google account page a select account once login authentication is successful it will take you to the home page our new home page is this which has three bottom navigation bar contact chat and profile if you click on chat and profile it will display the text accordingly but if you click on the contact it will display the list of contacts that are already registered in our application if you look at our app.dart file what we have done previously is, is after the login successful we have sent the user to the home page now we are sending the user to the registration page with the authenticated user detail before telling you about how we are doing the registration i need to tell you why we are doing the registration here first uh, since we are using Firebase authentication, Firebase authentication is very useful for the authenticating the user, but it but it doesn't show uh, provide you the API for fetching the list of user. It only gives you the authenticated user. So in order to do that, we have to store the user somewhere. So here we are using a Firestore database and putting into putting it under the user's collection, so that we can retrieve the user whenever we need it. So if you can see over here, we are using the same UID and over here and the document id is also the same thing and one more thing what, what we need to do is we have to apply the rules where we have on the rules we have to check that uh, only after the request uh, user has authenticated successfully he can read or write in our firestore database let's go to the data folder of registration and look at the model our model contains four member variable uid display name email and photo url you can use dart data class generator to create your own data class now let's go to the provider folder and look into registration firebase provider Registr registration firebase provider contains two method get user detail and register user get user detail is responsible for fetching the document data from the firestore database and register user will be handling the registration of user into the firestore database in our registration repository there are also two methods one will call the registration firebase provider get user detail it will get a user map and it, if it's null then it will return a null otherwise it will convert the app user from the given map data in our registered user it will get the user app user and it will convert the map and call the firestore registration firebase provider to register the given map let's look at the block section of registration and go to the event first there are two corresponding events one uh, for the requesting of detail based on the uid and another for registering look at the registration state in our registration state we have registration initial for default different uh, state then registration update success registration details uh, success and registration failure a registration error and registration in progress now let's look into the registration block in registration block we have only two events to handle registration detail requested and registration detail updated both are mapped to their own private methods let's look into the own registration detail requested to state here we will first throw the registration in progress then we will get the user from registration repository get user detail method using the uid from the event after that if user is null then we will throw registration failure otherwise we will throw registration success if there is any error or exception during that time we will throw registration error on registration updated to state we what we'll do is we'll throw the registration in progress in first then we will uh, await for the registration repository to register the user detail by using the user from the event if that is successful then we'll just throw registration update success and send the user back if there is any exception then we'll throw registration error now in our registration page so the registration page is a stateless widget that has a um, in its build uh, we have a block provider with registration block and require registration repository and firebase and we add the event called registration detail requested with the authenticated user uid child the registration view we have a simple stateless widget with the block consumer we are with the listener called registration listener and the builder called registration builder with our, their own private methods it has a build when method because uh, for the registration action failure and registration action error i don't want to build anything that's why we are asking the builder not to build anything 
We have used the listener because on a specific event for such as registration action failure, I want to uh, initiate a new event called registration detail updated. That means the user is not found, so we are asking the application to register the given authenticated user. If there is some kind of exception, then we'll show a scaffold messenger saying that but there is a particular exception while registering the user. So now the registration builder will show a circular progress indicator on registration in progress on update success and requests detail request success it will go to the home page with the given logged in user let's look into the, our home page uh, so it will be in under the home folder inside the view home page so let's look into our home page home page is a status which is that has a block provider giving the home block to its home view uh, so our home view is a stateful widget that takes an authenticated user so if you look at the home view state it has it is a symbol scaffold and in its body is a home body builder and in bottom navigation bar it has home bottom navigation bar with three items one is for contact another for chat and third and last one for the profile in bottom navigation bar we have a met specific method called on bottom tab so each tab on the bottom navigation bar will trigger a specific event on the blocks like contact tab chat tab and profile tabbed it also has a set state changing the selected item to the value provided by the tab so that since this uh, selected item is used as current index so that item will be changing on the real time basis home body builder will be acting upon the events triggered by the home bottom navigation bar tabs so the home state uh, will be corresponding to each pages as we can see over here so let's look into the home block so first home event so there are only three simple events contact tab chat tab and profile tab Let's look into our states. Home state also has three home contact, home chat, home profile corresponding to each page. Home block. In our home block, the initial state is home contact. So the first page that it will always be displayed is home contacts page. So for each event, there's a private method and there's nothing much in it. Each tab will uh, return its own state. Let's go back to the home page once. Here we can see that on the home contact state, we are going to the contact page. Let's go to the contact page with the authenticated user. Now let's go to the data layer of the contacts. As you can see over here in data provider, contact fibers provider. It has only one single method that is called get contacts. And what it will do is fire show collection users and get the data and it will get the list of document snapshots and that will be converted into the list of maps so in our contact repository it has a single method called get contacts and dependency of contact firebase provider it will call the contact firebase provider and get list of user maps and those list of user map will then convert it into the list of app users so in our contact block let's check the contact event first it has a single event called contact list requested with login uid uh, it is uh, login uid is sent because we, it might be useful when filtering the result in future so in our contact state we have uh, contact initial contact load in progress uh, contact uh, load failure and contact load success load success will have a list of contacts so let's check our final block of the day that is called contact block it has only one event to handle that is called contact list requested that is mapped to a private method called on contact list requested here we can see that first we'll throw contact load in progress with emit function then we'll try to get the list of contacts from the contact repository if it is successful then we'll say contact load success with the list of contacts and if there's any exception we'll throw a contact load failure in our contact page uh, we can see that uh, contact page is uh, returns a block provider with contact block with its contact firebase provider and we are adding the event called contact list requested and its child is contact view so uh, contact view is also a stateless widget that has a block builder inside if it's uh, contact load in progress it will just throw a circular progress indicator if it's failure then it will show a appropriate message in on contact load success it will return a list view and the list is provided from the state Contact list view is a private method that returns a list view builder and for its item count is fetched from the context using the context.length. In its item builder, we can see that we are getting a contact using the context element at index and returns a list tile with the leading of circle in uh, avatar, title with the display name and subtitle with their email Let's check our dependencies one last time. I have added a new dependency called equitable as you can see over here 
and also do check out the ARB file where I have added some of the text that are gonna be displayed on the registration and the contact pages okay this is all for today and this is the second part we have loaded the contacts and in our first part we have done the authentication and if you guys like the video then please like the video and if you want to see the third part then please do subscribe and if you have any question regarding this video or the previous video do leave the comment thank you so much for watching see you next time